Hey, what is going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be talking about Python's built-in any function. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of how to use this function within your Python programs. All right, so for this video, we're going to be using the Python console. So if you're using PyCharm, all you have to do is come down to the bottom left-hand corner and click this button that says Python console. Click it, and then you'll be good to go. Now, if you aren't using PyCharm, all you have to do is open up your terminal, come up and type in Python, hit enter, and you'll be able to use all the same commands that we're using within this video. All right, so the any function is very similar to the all function that we talked about in the previous video with one difference. The any method is going to only return true if one item within some iterable is true. So if that's a little confusing, I'm just gonna go back to the previous example that we talked about when we were discussing the all method. So if we had a list filled with true values. Oh, what happened there? There we go. So we have a list filled with true values and then we'll store all of that into the variable of a. And then if we ran the all method on this, right, we get true. But if we were to change one of these and ran the all method on this, we get false. Now this is where the any method is a little bit different from the all method. If we change this to any, you'll see that this time it actually returns true. And if we were to go back to the previous case, the very beginning, and run the any method against this, it also returns true. This is because it only needs one occurrence of a true value within the iterable, rather than every occurrence being true. So we aren't just limited to Boolean values within our iterable, we can deal with things like integers. Just one thing you have to remember is that a false value for an integer would be zero. So if we had a bunch of zeros, right? store that into b if we ran the any method against this since we have all false values this is going to return false but if we were to change b up oh, not that again if we were to change b to like throw a two in here and then if we ran the any method again now we have one true value so the any method returns true and just like the all function you can run this against a dictionary so if we had a variable called it c and let's say we had one and we'll store a zero in there and we'll have a two and we'll store Let's throw a three in there. And if we ran this against the all function, where is it all, but then we'll do a C, you'll see we get true. So if we change this to a zero, right? Since it's only gonna look at the keys and not the values, if we ran the all function on this, we get false. But like we saw above, if we ran this against the any function, it only needs one, which it has, so it returns true. So I hope that makes sense to you. Once you get the hang of it, it becomes very simple and easy to understand, and you'll find yourself using this a lot within your programs. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.